Uh, this is my first video on Ricky Gervais show and XFM podcast. I just basically want to talk about how amazing it is. Um, yeah, but I basically listen to it all the time. And I think Carl is the, you know, the best thing about it. Apart from Ricky Gervais's laugh, because that always makes me laugh. It's a bit of a crazy laugh, but that's what makes it so funny. Um, yeah, some of the stuff that Carl comes out with always makes me laugh. I mean, it's all shit. But the way he believes in it, in stuff that aren't true, you know how serious he is about it, yet Ricky takes none of it. Um, and Steve's always trying to calm Ricky down and stop him from having a go at Carl. Um, I do laugh a lot at a lot of the episodes. I think the best one, the best XFM episode was possibly the one about autism, which is a serious subject. But Carl wasn't taking the mick out of it or anything, he was just basically telling a story about a lad, or a little, little lad, who had autism and he remembered that a scene in EastEnders and he was on about, it was like a superpower having autism. And then he suddenly just started going on about Cyclops and going on about how it was scaring the Cyclops having eight eyes and that would freak him out more than having just one eye. Uh, another episode. I think the other episode about, oh what was it? Sorry about that, the camera went off. Um, yeah, Monkey News is always my favourite. Especially the one about uh, the monkey on a tricycle. That was a bit weird, but funny. Um, and the Monkey News. Uh, the one about the monkey that had pointy eyes, which obviously led to Carl having to go to Steve for having goggle eyes, which I really feel sorry for the bloke. You know, he, he's not a goggle eyed freak. Um, but Carl always takes the piss out of him and says that he is. But it's just sort of comic timing and delivery on, on that, that one saying that the monkey's got pointy eyes and obviously that made Ricky laugh his head off you know, burst, burst along <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just all, all shit really um, obviously Steve didn't take kindly to that I do feel sorry for him um, and I think Ricky's a bit of a shit stirrer I mean yeah he has a go at Carl for the stuff that he comes out with but every time Carl has a go at Steve he's always there you know backing him up a bit and I think he just loves the fact that Carl is always sassy when he has a go at Steve, you know, that always has a bit of an at attitude. And um, I think Ricky, he's probably made Carl into a bit of a bit, bit more, more of a confident man because, you know, he brought him onto the x Men podcast and he was the producer. Obviously not a not a good one, Ricky always used to say, but 
you know, he's always doing his best, finding records, you know, doing rock busters, you know, uh, what other ones did he do? You know, all sorts of quizzes and stuff like that. And do we need them? Remember that? That was quite a good section of the XFM podcast. Talking about, you know, do you, we need jellyfishes and turtles and all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's like one of the best podcasts ever. Next to the Ray Pickup podcast, that is actually quite funny. If you haven't seen that, I'd check that out. It's basically similar to the XFM podcast. You know, basically three men just having a banter. You know, there's this bloke called Raj James. He used to be on, on EastEnders but ruined it, as they always say. And basically Ray just takes the piss out of him. You know, Raj is a, he can have his dim moments, you know. And they, they always joke about Raj being a paedophile. Which, you know, make, makes Ray laugh. Ray Peacock laugh. And Ed Gamble. Who's another part of the podcast? But Roger always gets pissed off at that, you know, saying he's a paedophile and comparing him with the child catcher on Chit Chit Bang Bang, which did make me laugh. Because there was this story about um, this woman visiting Raji and she was sheltering from the rain and he let her in. And because she had a baby with her, he sort of offered a lift, you know, to to her home. And as soon as he got the child in, all the doors locked. And Ed Gamble just made a comment saying, you know, you this is especially been fitted. You know, you are like the child catcher, Raji. And Raji just hated that but Ray obviously loved that you know he's, he's like a bit like Ricky Gervais in a way although Ray I think is more meaner than Ricky because Ray can re- be really quite mean to Raji I know he does have, have affection but I mean there was one episode when, when he wouldn't sing a Christmas carol so Ray started to break stuff and he broke his lava lamp and then he ended up he wanted to break Roger's glasses because he still wouldn't sing I think was it a picture frame that he broke and then Roger just completely lost it and was like you and that was hilarious Another favourite episode on that podcast was when they all went into town with each other and they went into Tesco's and there was an announcement on the tannoy which was Would little Roger James, who used to be on EastEnders but ruined it, please report to customer services as his daddy is waiting for him and that obviously made Ray and Ed laugh out loud and Roger was like, oh yes, well done, you are so funny and that was very much that that made me laugh quite a lot um, should we talk about the x podcast really but I, I should check out Ray Pickup podcast because it's hilarious um, not as good as Ricky Gervais' podcast though, because Steve, Ricky, and Carl are amazing together. You know they get on so well. Oh, I don't know where Steve isn't fond of Carl. I don't know if they stay in touch nowadays. But you know there were times when Steve and Carl didn't get on. You know Ricky and Carl got on quite well, but just there were times when. You know, Steve would have a go at Carl because he had to go at him. 
and that's the thing about Steve because he he could dish it out but he couldn't take it you know I do feel sorry for Steve but you know I just think you should lighten up a bit with Carl even though some of the stuff that Carl says is quite you know he goes all out to offend him and stuff um, I think I might end this uh, the last thing about x Fan Podcast is that um, some of the stuff that Carl comes out when, when he talks about his girlfriend Suzanne and oh god I real feel sorry for her <laughs> having to put up with Carl you know day after day you know like the time he woke up and he he, he went um, Suzanne did I tell you about the immune system and so Ricky and Steve just couldn't stop laughing I think there was one when he woke up and he, he said to Suzanne how can you freeze time <laughs> and obviously that made Ricky and Steve giggle like schoolgirls um, another thing I think I hope that they do more I know they probably won't but they should just get together again do some more podcasts possibly do what they do did with Ricky Gervais podcast or the Ricky Gervais show and not have an animation but have the camera on them to see their reaction to what Carl says like behind the scenes of the studio because I think that'll make it even funnier because when you see Ricky Steve and Carl together you know their reactions are amazing you know stuff that Carl comes out with you know Ricky says that he can never predict the answer ask ask it, Carl any question and he can never predict the answer which is true you know because Carl comes out with stuff you never imagine him, him saying can't they so they should just have a show where the camera's on them and just just see Ricky and Steve's reactions to some of the stuff that Carl says because it makes it even funnier you know it's always funny to watch Ricky cackle and lose it when Carl ever says something shit like I don't know you know there was a monkey with three legs that could ride a motorbike you know stuff like that which does sound like something Carl would probably say <laughs> so um, yeah I just hope hopefully, hopefully they will do some more in the future and yeah if you ever get a chance to listen to Ray Peacock podcast I recommend you do listen to their some of the complaint letters that they, they write they're quite funny check them out on YouTube um, but yeah the XFM podcast they are classics and I must have been so so young when they first came out and I just wish I could have listened to them a lot earlier but now I, I always listen to them all the time really so if you haven't heard them I recommend listening to them because you will laugh till your sides hurt I mean I always do you know, the amount of times I hear monkey news and rock busters I still just laugh so much at some of the stuff that Carl makes up and he says that's true and obviously Ricky don't believe any you know word, word that Carl says which I don't really blame him <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna end this and um, this probably listen to some more um, yeah see you later